Welcome to Day Trader Genius. This is a stock options program uh, for day traders. And our idea is to get in and get out and make a little bit of money when you can do that. So this is not a training video. For that, you can go to Udemy. Udemy. Uh, links are in the description. And uh, once you've taken the courses, you've got an idea of how the process works, the strategy works, and everything else. Uh, you can then apply for a 30-day trial, try out the program, uh, get some coaching, and move forward. This is not something that uh, you want to just try and figure out on your own. You need to be trained. This is the replay, which is very, very close to reality, except it doesn't have, like, by the tick. Uh, so there are some differences, but it's a great way to kind of show you uh, what can happen. We have over here the buy and close options buying a call or buying a put and then selling and this is all in kind of like a game mode so that you can practice and uh, see how you're doing so this is the day trading options uh, uh, replay for january 16th 2020 and our goal is just to show you that in a few minutes uh, you can make 10 uh, percent well it's basically 10 percent in 10 minutes however you may have to be uh, following along for a couple hours before the opportunity shows up so don't think that oh I'm just gonna spend 10 minutes and uh, a day and I'm gonna be making uh, you know 50 percent on my money that's uh, not realistic however uh, having said that we have a lot of alerts that you can set uh, up your rules and uh, you know, you can be doing something and you'll hear a ping, you know, Apple is moving up or something along those lines. And you can then come and take a look and see what you think. All right. So we happen to be having Apple up right now. And I'm just going to hit the, uh, I could hit the play button, but I'm just going to hit the arrow. So to basically this gold zone, I call it the no man's land. In other words, it's going up, it's going down, there's no real trend, there's no real direction, and uh, it's dangerous for your money to be buying puts and calls in this level. Once it breaks above or once it breaks below, then uh, there could be some really good opportunities depending on lots of other things. Like uh, if there's this green here, this means there's lots of power moving up. Um, we have the volume genius, there's lots of, uh, you will often say that a spike in volume shows the beginning and the end and or the end of a trend, which means it's a good time to get in or out. So nothing's been happening. We're around 1036 in the morning. Uh, and I'm just going to use the arrows to move ahead a minute and uh, see what happens. So we've got a little bit of power going down, but it's not uh, it's not out of the zone. So we're not going to do anything. As you can see, it uh, moved back up, so not much is going on. Uh, okay, we've got another little bit of red, but we're still in the no man's land. Moving forward. And over here, we have the main list, and these are, uh, these can be <laughs> sorted by a lot of different things. And uh, at this point, not a lot is happening. And then at the bottom here, we have the basket. And you can see it's pretty flat. So uh, cautious and selective trading. Low volume. Not much is going on. And uh, it looks like we could be breaking through. And we have. So we've got kind of the red. We've got the K-band. A little bit of stuff going on. So I'm going to buy a put. If it continues down, uh, we'll maybe we'll make some money. And we go a few more minutes. Okay, a few more minutes. Made 4%, 6%, 10%. I'm out. That's my rule. I want to make 10% and, uh, and get out. You can do that uh, all day long if you want. Basically, you're taking advantage of the trends and the movement, like the waves, right? The ocean, if you're surfing, you wanna get that good wave and surf the wave. There's a lot of little piddly waves you wanna miss. There's a massive super wave that comes, you know, once a week or once a month or once a year. Uh, you know, you, if you're not in the water, you're not gonna be taking advantage of those. And then there is the, uh, 
just the regular good old wave. And for me, a regular good old wave is 10%, particularly on a cautious day when everything is below average, there's no trend going on. And you can see, you know, we had, uh, we had the beginning of the trend in the dead zone, uh, no man's land uh, with the spike. And we had a little bit of a spike here. So is, does that mean that the next time it's going to go up? Uh, I don't know, right? You'll have to go and take a look, <clears throat> but I'm in and I'm out. All right, so let's just see if there's any others that uh, that we want to take a look at for today. This is around the same time as the Apple trade. Um, we're just uh, half an hour before the end of the Apple trade. Um, so I don't really recommend you uh, have more than one trade on at a time. But uh, I wanted to show this trade simply because it goes in the opposite direction. So we're on a day that nothing is happening. If you look down here at the basket, it is flatter than a pancake. You rarely see it like this. Um, and you need to be cautious. And so, and most trades fall, you know, have lack follow through. There's all sorts of stuff about it. Rogues are okay. So we have one that was going down. And uh, let, this one's kind of trying to break up. Twice it has sort of gotten, you know, gotten out of the no man's land and gone back in. It's got went out and back in. So we're going to move forward and just sort of see what's, what happens. All right. Well, that doesn't look good unless it's. Now, as you can see, it's going up, going down, doesn't really know what's happening. It's trying to get out. Okay, it's got out. Um, now, the highest that it made was here. There's the RB line. So I'd kind of like it to challenge those before I, I get in. And these are five minute candles. Okay. Now we have the green, we've got the K band, not much else, but it looks like it's, it's of course it's above its previous high. And, oh, all right. Okay, so we've got a little bit of power. I'm going to buy. And let's see how long we can stay in with this. A little flutter. Made a little bit. We're above the RB. There's my 10%. I'm out. All right. Well, and let's see if we can find one more. All right, we're taking a look at uh, Tesla. It's the afternoon. Lunch is over. Oftentimes, uh, you know, they'll all go for lunch at 12. Nothing happens. And not much has been happening here, although there was a massive uh, spike up and then a little bit down, and then it's just been sideways. And here we're looking at, you know, it's tried to go up. Well, so it tried to go up. Went down, tried to go up, nothing happened. It's trying to go up again. So we're going to move forward and see if there's anything here that happens that uh, might give us a bit of profit. Well, it's going up. Now it's done this before. And uh, you can see in the past we had a volume spike and it went up and a volume spike when it kind of finished. No volume spikes yet. We got the green paint, that's good. K band. Okay, mm, that didn't work. But we got some patience here. We've got another little jump up. We got the K band. We're getting close to uh, this high. And we've got the benchmark. 
and then it, and when SA is up to here. So if we can kind of get through some of this stuff here, we might have a trade. All right, so I would say we've got a little bit of a volume spike. Things are good. I'm not giving you all the details on what you need to be looking for. I'm just showing you that there are opportunities to make money throughout the day. Well, I won't say throughout the day. Certainly in the morning and sometimes in the afternoon we have good opportunities. So I'm going to buy a call. And it always starts at minus one to take off all the fees and everything. Go a couple more minutes. Okay, we've made some money. A little bit more. Good. And this here, this is plus three. We've got three dollars more to go up before we hit any major resistance other than the stuff that happened first thing in the day. So uh, that could be good. There we go. Now we've hit this top, which is probably, well, we actually smashed through it. And we're at 13%. That's good enough for me. I'm going to close. And uh, there we go. So let's just take a quick look at our trade summary. Apple, we got in at uh, 10.55. 10.59, we got out, 9.7%. Abby OMD got in at 11. 11.07, we got out. Uh, 9.8 percent Tesla 124 got in 135 got out so that's 11 minutes 13.1 percent so I think that's a pretty good day if you did that consistently I don't think it would take long for your uh, portfolio to grow so that's it this is the day trader genius daily review for January 18th 2020. Thank you for joining us and we look forward to having you in the uh, Udemy classes and get you trading. Bye-bye.